and the green flag falls to send them away in the modified rod front markers race and the car number 13 of Rod Fraser takes the running. The 19 of Lindsay Cornwall got crossed up going into the corner and uh, all the field behind him uh, took evasive action. No uh, yellow light at this stage and the 22 car of Don McRae appealing for the light to come on but he's not going to get it and Rod Fraser hangs on to the lead. Now Lindsay Cornwall who got crossed up going into the first corner has regained uh, his composure and is hanging on to second place. A long way back in third place is the car five of Steve Moore. Now Rod Fraser is the leader. Lindsay Cornwall is the man attacking him on the inside. Fraser on the outside and Cornwall on the inside. Now we've got a red light on with problem over in the uh, back straightaway. The car 45 of Danny Williamson has gone into the uh, concrete wall. I missed the incident. I don't know whether he hit the fence very hard. Obviously not. He's backed away from it okay. The red light's on and as I said, conditions just a little tricky in this uh, opening race and probably for the opening couple of races until that uh, track surface beds in. Seven laps will remain when the field is regrouped. I'd like to tell you that with Christmas just around the corner, we have a terrific prize for you tonight on behalf of the Motodrome Supporters Club. It is a large Christmas hamper. It contains a Christmas pudding and a Christmas cake, some ham, a Christmas video and some Christmas books, some stuffed toys, some wine, some motodrome uh, clothing, some toys, t-shirts, caps. There's a whole host of stuff in our Christmas hamper tonight. Tickets one dollar each or three for two dollars. It will be drawn tonight and the ticket sellers are wearing the red coats. So if you see a red coater, ask them for a ticket. Settling in now for the restart to event one, the modified rod front markers. And the restart sees Rod Fraser hang on to the lead. Oh, one car going up very high is Mick Purden. There's uh, Lindsay Cornwall going up on the inside of Rod Fraser, down back straight away, and Cornwall takes the lead. Now, Purden got into trouble, got a bump, went out onto the infield. For some unknown reason, Steve Moore went right out onto the infield all on his own. Now, Lindsay Cornwall and Rod Fraser dicing for the lead. Cornwall's up high, Fraser's down low. Cornwall still won't give in. Gee, he's doing it the hard way, right up on the concrete wall, out in the mud, and he's trying to overhaul Rod Fraser. Fraser gets back to the lead. Down main straightaway, five laps to go, and Rod Fraser out in front. Not running well, I think... Um, might be one plug gone, I'd say, on that uh, car of Rod Fraser's, but nonetheless, he's got enough power to stay out in front of Lindsay Cornwall. Brian White has moved up into third place, then there's a big break back to the 44 car of Russell Bradley. Rod Fraser goes past the start-finish line with four laps to go, a clear leader, around about 70 metres or so on Lindsay Cornwall. Then a similar break back to Brian White. Now Ross Harkess getting up on the inside of Russell Bradley goes up into fourth place. Bradley is back to fifth. Race leader running on a sick engine at the moment is Rod Fraser. Lindsay Cornwall up high on the track. Brian White in third place and Ross Harkess running fourth. Only two laps to go now for our race leader, Rod Fraser. Coming up to some of the slower traffic, but he should be able to negotiate that without too much trouble. Round the outside of the slower car, number 15, Dean Dalfallon, he goes. Lindsay Cornwall's not uh, close enough to him to threaten any danger. And a big break back then to Brian White. Rod Fraser cops the white flag. He's got just one lap to go to take out our opening race tonight. Lindsay Cornwall covered in mud, holding on to second place. And Brian White, a comfortable third. Ross Harkess is fourth. The chequered flag is out. 
and the first race of the night it's not unlucky for the number 13 it's a win rod fraser is first the 19 of lindsay cornwall is second second place goes to the 25 car of brian white Fourth place to 63, Ross Harkess, and fifth place will go to the 44 of Russell Bradley. No time is scored because of the race stoppage. Our tidy trim modified front markers comes to a close, and the win goes to the number 13 of Rod Fraser.